Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Today we are going to talk about NCS and EMG machine by Contact. This is the main unit and everything that you see over here is going to be connected to this unit. This unit does not comes with a display so you need a laptop to connect this using these two wires. These wires are USB wires and you need a software to operate this machine. Once you buy this machine there is a software that comes with it and you can install it and you can work with that. Now coming to the parts as I mentioned these are the two USB cables that are going to be connected to the machine and your laptop. This is the power supply of this machine. After that this is the ground cable for the machine. So this is very important because if you want no noise in your NCS and EMG especially in EMG you need to connect this with your trolleys, with your ground, with your machine and one part is going to be connected to the machine while the other is connected to the uh, the ground and trolleys or something like that. These are the earphones and they are used while someone is performing uh, electromyography. There are various conditions that have characteristic sounds so you need these earphones to be connected and you can listen to that sound. These two are the electrodes. These are surface electrodes are sometimes referred to as ECG electrodes and these are disposable electrodes and uh, these can be used to perform this the surface NCS and the EMG if the machine allows you. These are the needles for EMG. These are coaxial needles. Uh, by the word coaxial I means that uh, they have both the anode and cathode within the needle. After that this is a velcro and these are the two positive and negative. Uh, in the NCS and EMG we call active and reference electrode. So these are the electrodes and these are called sometime called as the button electrodes. After that this is the stimulator and it is used to deliver the current using this machine while you are performing the NCS. The green color wire is the ground cable that is used when you are performing the NCS and EMG. So you have uh, two electrodes active and reference electrode and then you have another electrode which is called as the ground electrode. These electrodes are called as the stimulating electrodes. Over here we are also looking at the two button electrodes and the two wire electrodes. The wire electrodes are sometimes used when someone is performing sensory nerve conduction study using the fingers. This is the velcro for the ground electrode. The ground electrode can be connected to this and the inside of this is soaked in water or in saline solution. Similarly over here you are also looking at the button electrodes and this is the brief introduction or these are the brief parts uh, of this machine. Of course there are some other parts that come with this also there's a, uh, there's a goggle that has um, a lot of lights or LEDs on to it that is used to assess the blinking reflex. Now let's come to see the interface of this machine. Uh, or the ports of this machine where you are going to connect these wires and everything. So let me show you. If you look at this side over here this is saying channel 1, this is channel 2 this is channel 3 and this is channel 4. Now these four channels it is called a four channel EMG NCS machine or electrodiagnostic unit. This is for ground. The green wire goes to this. That small green wire on the right hand side it goes to this ground. These can be used for the recording of NCS and EMG. So you can say these are the channels for recording electrodes. If you move this unit, now you're looking at 
this audio jack or audio port these two are self-explanatory these are the signs for the usb so you need to connect the usb wires with this and you can use these ports to connect to your laptop this over here shows the current that is the port for the electric stimulator and the stimulating electrodes the one on the right with blue color just below the green wire is connected over here this is the port that can be used to connect the earphones the smaller one that are on the top the flash there's a special goggle with it that has a lot of leds so you can connect it over there this is used to show the display if you want to connect any monitor with it you can use that this is the main ground electrode the bigger yellow and green wire this one this is the connection for the power supply or the port for the power supply this is the on off switch and these are the two fuses as you can see there is no port over here and similarly there is no port on the front let's come to see what are these function keys and what is the purpose of these keys this knob or this dial can be rotated clockwise or counterclockwise as as you can see the bigger circles they represent an increased in intensity so this is used to amplify or to increase the amount of current so the stimulating current can be increased or decreased using this so simply you can move it in any direction clock or counterclockwise in clockwise direction you are going to increase the intensity and in counterclockwise direction you are going to decrease the intensity this is the led for the mains and this is the led that also tells you if the unit is functioning now this top button is for a single stimulation and this is for a repeated sim stimulation so if you want more number of pulses you can fix the frequency and you can press this and it will keep on stimulating or sending the current again and again so you don't need to press uh, again and again so it, this is really very useful over here these two buttons this can increase and this can decrease the pulse width because this uses uh, direct current so you can increase the pulse width or the pulse duration of the stimulating current this can increase and decrease the number of pulses uh, like the frequency of the stimulating pulses then these are special keys you can use them to amplify your signals so they cannot be used uh, without a monitor you need to uh, have a particular screen and you you can after uh, observing the cmap or snap you can increase or decrease the amplification or sweep and things like that from these two keys now these are f1 to f12 these are function keys and they are dependent upon the interface so if the interface in the program is uh, changed these functions are going to be changed so on the bottom of the program you can find the function keys and sometimes they refer to various functions for example uh, the sweep speed or uh, uh, re, uh, re uh, you know when you want to reimpose something or superimpose something or sometime uh, to retrieve another function or go to the previous menu and things like that and lastly we have this volume you can increase this volume uh, to listen the sounds that are produced during the emg so this is just like a simple volume so this is a brief introduction of this ncs and emg machine the good thing is that uh, we are going to offer this 
course to the physical therapists and the professionals who are willing to learn this and soon we are going to launch this so if you are interested to learn more about this do let me know and uh, you can contact me using your whatsapp or you can email me or you can call me so if you have any questions or comments do let me know i hope you like this video thank you very much